Hello buddy, my name is Eric and welcome back to another one of these Linux uh, videos. So I'm pretty happy with the state I've got the system. We did some gaming, we did the um, basic setup and video editing, so now I'm going to focus on more productivity. So there's a couple of options for Linux. So there's a couple of things we need. We want an email suite. Now I personally, and because I have Google's advanced security, on one of my email accounts. My only real option, this is my favorite open source uh, program for this anyways, is Thunderbird. So first of all, we're gonna install that. I really like that program. I think it works really well. And it's made by Mozilla, the same people as Firefox. So it's pretty good. Now the next next thing to look at is uh, an office suite. And there's a couple of choices. Let's actually just go to the Arch wiki and see, because there's a couple of choices. There's LibreOffice, OnlyOffice, and FreeOffice, I believe. Okay, here's a bunch of different choices. Uh, crossover Office, that would be using Category Office. That's what we want, Category. And while we're here, we also, because I oftentimes like to look at anime titles in Japanese, so what we also need are Japanese fonts. So here's a couple of choices. We get LibreOffice. Oh, did we end up on a foreign language? Search this for Google. Chinese. I don't know how we ended up in Chinese. Okay. Well, let's fix all of this. So, the package, Adobe, Pan, Arch. So, essentially, the package we want is this adobe dash source dash hand dash sans actually we'll do sans serif not so you can use regex in the terminal oh we're not able to do it that way okay so then we have to do them one by one we can use regex once again for that so here we want to go and some of these are somewhat interchangeable, so we want to do that, we want to do Korean, I don't know what, oh, okay, that's shared, Taiwan is traditional Chinese. So we'll give that a second, and then if we go back to that page, we should have all of our correct fonts. Okay. Might have to restart Firefox. Okay, well, let's just, let's all p a new Firefox. Now let's just take this. Okay, so we might have to restart the computer, but that's how we get that going. So now for Office Suites, first of all, we can have Libra. Oh, it just suddenly worked. There we go. Libra Office. I got to capitalize the S, of course. I'll go for fresh, but they're both they're both good. Now we can wait for that to install. And LibreOffice is basically a free and open source version of Microsoft Office. So now let's go on another. I think I I think I chose the wrong setting for the background, but that's okay. Um, so we'll go with Writer, Libre. Okay, we have to go back to LibreOffice. Or is it just Writer? Community. Okay, writer. So here we go for writer. Now let's also try and open. Let's. Libre. Okay, well, we can just open another one through the LibreOffice launcher and then find it. Oh, so you can actually just do it from here. I didn't even know that. Let's let's get four of these going. Uh, we'll get presentation. Okay. Here we go. So this is LibreOffice, and it works pretty well. We can you hit Alt Enter on DWM to emphasize a specific one as the master. The other the others are all I guess I guess if we're going with master slave, they're slaves. So we can do. It'll be something like, let's say you want to do exponential growth in a spreadsheet. You do this, and then you do 
Okay, yeah, I have to do A1. And then we can just drag that down. And it uses all the same key bindings as Microsoft Office does, which is pretty good. And I, I quite like it. You know, Excel is nice, but this, this works. And we can also, we can go into data, and we even have some of the functions of Excel's statistics function. Like, we can get descriptive statistics. I don't think we can do a histogram easily off of this, but that's okay, because I, I prefer to use Python for that kind of data analysis. So, that's, that's pretty good. Of course, we have web browsers. We have Firefox and Chrome, and we can go on YouTube, and that, that works as normal. Yeah, we can load YouTube. We got our terminals, so another thing we can do, we're gonna close out of Firefox, is we can we can do development. Make the R development. We've already got Python installed on here, so we'll use that. Pip uh, now we don't need pip and I'm just gonna do something simple. So we'll use this as our Python terminal. Then we'll use this one to actually create a file. Now we want to do I gotta do an exclamation mark for a shebang. Now we can use this terminal. I don't think this is quite the way. This, uh, there is a better way of doing this, but this works for now. And now we can do simple uh, Python script. Take W. There we go. I know, I've got, the, got to do it. Script.py. And if we see H1 plus access, because we're on Linux, we can even do. Oh, yeah, you have to do dot slash because it's not in path. There we go. Hello world. Very, very basic, but functional Python script. So now I'm going to try and set up the email client. Do Thunderbird. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's go for this one. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my password. I'm going to open up my Bitwarden on another monitor to get that. I'll be and paste that. And as long as I don't paste it in the wrong place, it should just work. Okay, and then this will open up, yep, just like it does on every other platform. Now I just gotta get my security key. Okay, that doesn't seem to be really Okay, it did. It's just a bit slow. But that's happened on every platform. One thing to note on that subject, actually, is that in order to get your... your security keys working on... Linux, you need to do... On this, on alt, you do CCID, and then you do sudo systemctl enable pcscd, and that enables the security key daemon to work. So now we can go here and we can look at emails. Yes, default email. Uh, yeah, I'll make it calendar as well, because I don't have anything else installed on here to use as a calendar. So let's say you want to, so now we do write, and here we go, it tiles it. And that's what a tiling window manager is for, and it works really well. So if we wanted to email someone else, then we can just do email sent from from launch in you slash Linux. Yes. I'll just send it myself. I feel like the one useful thing I learned in school is that you can email yourself. Of course, it's not going to do anything right now because it's got to download all my emails first. It'll pop up a... I don't even know what this, what this crap is. Okay. Okay, my eBay item sold. That's good to know. Okay. So that's good. Limited time, security alert. Okay, it hasn't come yet, so that's interesting. But we can go over here. All of our productivity software here. And now, let's see what else we can do. We can use uh, Nautilus is the file manager that I've installed. You can use other ones if you want. 
I can easily enough, I can copy and paste using this. For a video player, I've installed MPV, which I'm just going to use through the terminal, but you can also, there's also VLC, of course. There we go, we can install VLC. But I, I'm more into a command line experience. So if I want to go... It's going to be like a meme of Linux users watching anime. And then we can hit F and full screen it. Here we go. And I, I'm not going to show too much of this because I don't want to get copyright striked. But here you go. Here's how you... Here's watching anime on Linux. Oh, I have I kind of hate these uh, dual try because you get both. Okay, so you do that, close out, and there we go. I think that's probably enough for now of this video, gets the, gets the idea of what we're doing. So we can do, we got Nautilus, coding in Vim, and you can also run VS Code, most other stuff. Oh wow, the rain has just gotten crazy. So that's going to be enough of this part. Next part, I'm going to show off the rice I've created here, and I'm going to going to look at setting up some more stuff because I want to get a status bar at the top, and I might also try and customize these things. So please subscribe if you're interested in that.